Yesterday, we are right here outside the Melvindale Police Department talking about the search for the suspect wanted for allegedly shooting and killing a beloved officer here. Today, we are talking about how that suspect was taken into custody. So what a difference 24 hours does make. Now, 44-year-old Michael Lopez, he was taken into custody right around 6.30 yesterday evening. He was found at a home on Detroit's southwest side, and it was actually invest or a tip that led investigators to the house and this is right near Michigan and Livernois again on the city's southwest side. Now you could actually uh, see Lopez at one point smiling and winking at the cameras that were capturing his arrest yesterday. Now he was wanted for shooting and killing Officer Mohammed Saeed after the two got into a struggle on Sunday morning near a car wash in Melvindale. The 23 year old had always wanted to be with uh, he had always wanted to be an officer. He'd only been with the department for about a year. We are told that Officer Sayed wanted to protect and serve the people in the community that he loves so much. He went as far as driving in front of his parents' house during each and every shift. Take a listen to his brother as well as the police chief here in Melvindale. It's really tough that we lost the oldest uh, sibling in the family. Um, we we're heartbroken. I heard the entry. I heard um, they say that they had someone in custody. Um, and then I heard command say, confirm, please, confirm. And they confirmed it's S1. So we got him. We got him. The chief of police obviously very emotional about this, and this is something that I've never seen before. The handcuffs used in the arrest of 44 year old Michael Lopez were actually Officer Saeed's. Now his visitation is set for Thursday at the Ford Center for Performing Arts in Dearborn. It will run from 12 until 8. His funeral will happen on Friday at 11 o'clock at the American Muslim Society, and that is also in Dearborn.